Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome to another Star Ocean video. Today we're not actually going to be doing any content, but I did want to share with you a pretty decent grinding spot that I've been using. This is a nice grinding spot uh, midway through the game for if you want to either gain some experience, level up your party members, or perhaps more appropriately if you want to gain a bunch of skill points. So this is available once you've made your way over to the planet of Roark and are able to visit the city of Trop. So if you can't get to this city yet, then this grinding spot isn't for you. Or if you've uh, gone past this city and, and the planet and have moved on to bigger and better things, then this probably isn't going to be the most efficient grinding spot. But it's still pretty good, at the very least, if you want to get skill points. So basically, what you're going to do is head out of the city here. And just over to the left as you come out, you're going to see this tree along with either another tree or with this plant thing. And this is what I've been using to build up my bonus board. So if it's a plant thing, we simply need to drag it to the tree. Very, very easy, just like that. Obviously then, we're going to get the ambush and we're going to get a green tile. And that's pretty much, you know, all there is to that. And I've never failed to get this ambush. Every single time uh, I do this, I always do manage to get the enemies close enough together to grab that ambush and to get the green tile. And as you can see, they're not actually that hard to kill either, so it's quite a quick means of actually building up your bonus board. And I definitely think at this point in the game, it's the most efficient way of doing this. So I'm in the middle of going to the Purgatorium right now. Uh, if you're following my walkthrough, you'll know that already. And I just think it's going to be helpful because we've got some tough areas coming up in there. Just to grab a few extra skill points, a few extra levels. And the good thing about this is, this method, even if you're going for the green tiles as I am for the skill points you're still going to find yourself getting uh, a nice amount of experience I would recommend though uh, to pay attention as I wasn't there and staying away from the rushed mobs but as you're going to see I'm still going to get a nice amount of experience so if you want to you can kind of intermingle both bonus boards or both bonus tiles have about four or five blue tiles uh, with a bunch of green tiles then on top of that but what I recommend in order to do this is to use a ranged character. So I'm just going to exit the map here, straight back out again, and that will respawn. And this time we've got the tr two trees. So very, very easy with the two trees. Just kind of go into the middle of them, and they'll come to you forming the ambush. Uh, but yeah, stick to a ranged character, and you don't even have to do much. Let your party members take care of these guys. Obviously, if the enemy crits you, uh, you're liable to losing your bonus board, which you don't want to happen, of course, since you're spending the time building it up. But it probably takes about half an hour, I'd say, to get a full bonus board of green tiles uh, at this uh, particular place, using these enemies. And then you can just farm to your heart's content, pretty much, after that. Just bear in mind that if you save your game, which you're fine to do, uh, don't reload it, because... You're going to find that you will uh, reset your bonus board and have to start building it up again. And I'd recommend, at least when building up your bonus board, you just get your strongest characters in so that they can just kill the enemies as quickly as possible and you can start racking in those skill points as soon as possible. That said, uh, even though it takes 30 minutes to fill the board up, you will, of course, be gaining skill points from the moment you start filling it up. So that's not a wasted 30 minutes by any stretch of the imagination. I still include that in the actual farming. I'm even stronger than and we will be getting quite a few levels, even though we're not going for those blue tiles. And the good thing about this method is, as well, uh, once you decide you need to heal up, I don't at the moment, but for the sake of argument, just head back into the city of Trop, and like the first building here is an inn. And yes, you're going to have to spend a little bit of fall in order to stay the night, but of course... The 200 fall you've got to spend is going to be easily made back within just a few battles of fighting enemies. And as I say guys, you can also save here, which you're probably going to want to do regularly. Uh, but just don't reload your game until you're happy with whatever it is that you've farmed. And also guys, another point I should note as part of this farming method, is that there's also a skill shop here in Trop, with some pre uh, pretty heavy costing skills such as the HP boost. And if you can get a few of those maxed out while you're here on some of your characters, uh, then you're just going to be in such a good position going forward for the rest of the game. Especially because we've got the Colosseum opening up soon on this planet. And the better we can boost our characters, the more we're going to be able to get out of it uh, early on once we've unlocked it. So all in all, I do recommend spending just a little bit of time 
while you're in trop, uh, doing this farming, maybe a couple of hours, three or four hours if you want to, you know, really go for it. Uh, and just max out at least all of your party members' main skills if they're not maxed out already. And then perhaps just purchase a few more of them from the shop, as I say, and max those out as well, just to put you in such a great position then going forward for the rest of the game. Finally, I don't recommend spending too much time farming at your levels because uh, there's going to be, you know, much greater opportunity to do that later in the game. I would focus on the skills instead and the skill points from the green tiles. But as I say, if you are under level, then it is probably worth just spending a little bit of time in this particular ambush. You will actually find the uh, levels that are coming in anyway, even without the blue tiles. Well, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you anyway, folks. So just make sure you concentrate. These trees have quite a high, quite a long range on them, on their branches that they swing around. So just stay at distance. Doesn't matter if your other party members get critted. It's if you get critical, you could lose your tiles. You don't want that to happen. But anyway, folks, I think this pretty much shows the method. So hopefully it's going to be helpful to you. Let me know what you think in the comment section uh, below. I'm going to spend a few hours uh, using this. And then in the next episode, we'll be continuing on with the Purgatorium. And uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem because uh, we'll be quite a bit stronger than we was in the last episode. Alright folks, thanks for stopping by today. I'll see you next time.